Hey friends, welcome back. I am working on day two of the Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 days of sketches for March. And I'm also playing along with a, um, doing a couple of the challenges as I go with an online crop. So it's kind of fun. I love two furs and three furs and all that kind of thing. So let me show you the sketch first. And it's a sketch by Tracy Reed. So it looks like a bunch of photos, like six photos, kind of wonky. Going down the center, long title goes here. And we've got kind of a zigzag, I guess is a way to put it, of the um, of little embellishments. And then there's a photo that's kind of highlighted. Awesome. Now, what I am doing is working through a bunch of Not Just For Boys Kit Club kits either you know some I haven't used yet some I've used parts of all that kind of thing this one is from March 2021 it's a page kit by Merity and it has 49 in market bow bunny what let me see what this one is 49 in market again there is basil in here and this poor p13 paper that I've been cutting right up I have that, and here are the cut aparts that I picked so far that I liked from it. Awesome. And then I have another one of these pieces from 49 Market. I also have a sticker sheet and a cut file. So I'm gonna have the cut file be my title. Great. Now, for the challenges for this crop that is long gone by, um, I mean, we really don't have to discuss it too much, but I do know I need some tissue paper brought in and new product and old product. Now this is technically from 2021, but I'll find something that we'll consider old. I'm gonna consider this new because I've not touched this page kit till today. So now to decide what to do, I was thinking about starting by going ahead and trimming this pattern paper by 49 a market to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Let me do that really quickly. And then using this bow bunny piece as my, my uh, photo mat, like so. So let me just trim off that branding strip. And this bow bunny it has this really great texture on it. Kind of feels like the Cardabella, um, pattern paper which is a delicious feel now I'm thinking I'm going to have to gut this so I can use just a bit of it it's such a strong color and I want to be able to map my photos with this as well as some of the other paper and these are my photos this is my husband playing with a snapchat filter and sending me pics so whoops my scissors went flying so I'm going to go ahead and gut this and I'm going to map my photo a bunch of times and come back when I have a little bit more traction. So quick check-in time. I did go ahead and lightly ink my edges. I also have to do it on this rust color paper. I triple matted my photo because kids get to be killed in my world. If A, <laughs> I'm no longer inspired, or actually I usually don't follow that rule, but if I've cut into every paper and I just don't feel like I could eke out another kit. So I went ahead and triple matted that. I've got this cute title because remember our sketch said long title goes here. Now I need something going this way, right? And I have all of these pieces that I'm going to help to work on that. But I also have this roll of tissue. So not a roll of tissue, it's a piece of tissue. And what I thought I would do is kind of just crinkle it down till I get to 11 and a half inches. Not exactly sure what my plan is, but it's gonna create texture and it'll be fine. So this, this is my plan to make it interesting. And yeah, just gonna work on it. And then I will glue it straight down the center. I thought I'd show you that. I need to ink the rest of this and I'll come back when we get to decorate. So check in time again. I went ahead and inked all my little bits and my white tissue is looking very, very white. So I thought I would just come in with my ink 
and make it match just a little better. I'm gonna get my edges a little mucked up, just lightly pressing it in because it makes more sense to me. Do the same down here. I mean, I'm gonna have these die cuts on here and so it won't look as clean as it does right now anyway, but I was like, eee. My background is so distressed, this needs to be messed up. And I still have to go into some deep stash diving to find some other goodies to go with this. I'll probably just go into my color drawer, maybe my black color drawer, and see what I have in there. There we go. That looks a little bit more like it can match its friends now. There we go. Just thought I'd show you what I did with that because... I was like, oh, it was stark white. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my photo on. If I found, oh, could not find my ATG. So let's get this on, line it up. Ooh, boy. The gluey bits were going wild. And I'm gonna have the main photo. Well, actually, I only have one photo. I'm gonna have the photo. Pop down, it's up on a little bit of foam, that's fine. And I think I also need to get some of these layers to lay down just a little nicer. There we go. And then it's just gonna be a matter of piling these goodies up. There we go, stay, stay. I have to get this wonderful U on, which I think I'm gonna just need liquid adhesive to come in for that. It's just going to be kind of floppy. And then why don't we just start popping these things on and in our sketch, the photos, why won't this work, are on like kind of topsy-turvy. So I'm just going to go with it. And now what I was going to do is scatter these kind of pieces that are a lot more like rectangly, just kind of like, you know, up and down and over as I go. So guys, I don't know. I have a hard time putting things wonky. So like if it's a situation where, yeah, that's a window. Hmm. Where do we want the window? It's so white. Let's just a little bit. Okay. Slightly less white. So I'm just gonna kind of pop things here and there. Let's get a deeper colored one, maybe right here. Let's see about this one. This one we can tuck maybe right here. Awesome. Now we just have two more of this kind of thing, which they're Pretty cool. Maybe right there. So do I do three and three? Yeah, it, it will make more sense to my head if I do. So we'll do one like right there. Is it kind of a, like, it's, it's tricky because my folds aren't perfect, of course, because, you know, they're folds. Okay. Now what I get to do, and things are not down flat, and that's fine. And I have to keep my title in its spot a little bit. Now the next thing I have, I have these, I think I'm gonna take the gear away. I have three like roundy bits and I think, I think I'll put all of these guys down flat as well. So let's build it up with the roundy bits next. Yeah, I'm gonna take the gear away. I like to do things in threes if I can. So I like him there. And then let's separate these guys a little bit. I've got a compass. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. I have to shut the door. My husband is talking to the boys, trying to get them to cooperate. And then maybe this right there. Awesome. 
Now let's come in with these floral bits. And this is what I was thinking that I might be popping up on a little bit of dimensional adhesive. And I'm gonna have my little leafy parts of them just tuck under, so let's see. Then, like I said, I still have to go ahead and get my um, old part of this, of this challenge. So let's see, pretty. Let's get this pretty flower right here. And then I have one more little floral cluster. To look at, I think, right. Ooh, I don't like that trap space right here. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll be back in a minute. I have these vintage Heidi Swap bows. So this will be my something old to put on here. Let's see. So black and white does work. Do I like it under everyday story? Right on top of Wonderful You seems a little hinky. Not that it bothers me that it's hinky. Yeah, that's fine. And why don't we go in also with a bow do we want more than one? I don't know if I like it there, guys. I don't know. So I don't want to keep covering up this cool clock. I do like the cool clock. And that's up on a little something. Do I want to come in with this? Hmm. I'll be right back. Let me okay, look well, again. I definitely found these. These are some Illustrated Faith Hexies. And these are uber usable and they also have that nice little epoxy shine which always helps so i'm gonna get and these are polka dotty how cute put that one like that and then let's see oh cute little polka dotty ones these are adorable so cute put one right here it's a great use of these because if I didn't have a challenge, I would not have done this. So I have one, 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 one. Let's see. Oh, I like this one. This one's pretty. Put this one right here. Pretty. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So there's going to be my little old bit, I think. Now I just got to figure out if I'm happy with this or not. I think I want to see if I can get any more of these in. And I'm going to look on the cut apart sheet to see if anything else is catching my eye as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off and I will show you still shots of my finished project. But yeah, so guys, does this look like the sketch? <laughs> Not really, except for the center design, but I did get really inspired by it. So this is my take on that sketch. Okay, still shots in a minute with the finished up project. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, links down below. I have people hopping along as well. All right, bye for now.